Ever since the release of Pokemon Go, people from around the globe have been talking about it. So much so in fact, that Pokemon Go may surpass most social networks in terms of active users. Let me explain. What you are seeing now is a Google Trends map of Pokemon Go, compared to Twitter, Tumblr and Snapchat. As you can tell, Pokemon is leading the charts like no man's business. If you want a comparison to any other video game, say Overwatch, then as you can tell, when Overwatch was released, it came nowhere near what Pokemon Go reached. Of course, the game is still young and may change in the future, but so far, it is looking to be one of the most popular video games ever made. In multiple big cities in America, it's actually possible to get a Pokemon Go taxi. If you're wondering what the heck I'm on about, well on Craigslist, multiple people are already offering to chauffeur Pokemon trainers around the city in their search for Pokemon. I mean, it's better than walking I guess, but I swear in the TV show they didn't have cars. If that weren't enough, well it gets better. Some of the ads actually offer extra services, such as snacks, drinks, Wi-Fi, and even the driver's knowledge of all Pokestops and gym trainers in the area. Gotta love these mobile games. Now on a much darker topic, Pokemon Go has also caused bad things to happen to a few of its users. One of the most disturbing cases is an incident where a teenager from Wyoming found the dead body of a man whilst looking for a Pokestop. The man's death appeared to be accidental, but not much more information was given. But an even more disturbing incident occurred in St. Louis County in Missouri, where four teenage men were arrested for robbing other players. They did this by making use of the game's beacon system, where the user can place beacons on the map to tell other players about various landmarks where Pokestops are located. They use this as a way of attracting their victims before proceeding to rob them and escape. These four men were arrested quickly and a statement was released after from the Pokemon company, stating that all players should travel in groups when going to unfamiliar places. So remember, always be aware of your surroundings and other players. Now back on a much happier topic, in 2012 Nintendo released the sequel console to the Wii called the Wii U. The idea was simple, use the motion controls from the Wii and combine them with high definition graphics and a touchscreen controller. The console in theory sounded pretty good, but was largely outsold by the Xbox One and the PS4, leaving Nintendo in a bit of trouble, as now they had less money to innovate with. But, with the release of Pokemon Go, it is already a Nintendo billions of dollars, bringing them back up the charts as one of the biggest game companies in the world. Basically, Pokemon Go may be the thing that carries Nintendo into the future. If you aren't aware of it, Pokemon Go collects data from you. And I don't just mean like where you are or what Pokemon you're catching, I mean a lot of data. This includes your location, your camera, your storage, your contacts, your network connections, and more. And if you sign in through Google, then pretty much all of your Google data is now under the control of Niantic. There's no need to worry though, because in the license agreement, it states that all the data will be used fairly. But still, you have to wonder, just how much marketing potential could become of this? If you are thinking of downloading Pokemon Go, then remember to only download the official version of the game. If you're wondering why I would say this, well it's because in multiple countries, there are already fake versions being released, that contain malicious content that could be a threat to your phone. An example of this would be a game that was released in the UK that advertised itself as Pokemon Go, but in reality, it was just a game of collect the dots whilst being bombarded by about 5,000 ads. So stay safe, people. Some of you may be wondering, why was Pokemon Go even made in the first place? I mean, it's not like it's much better than any of the other Pokemon games, right? Well, the actual reason behind the game is that the developers thought that it would actually help people who suffer from anxiety, panic attacks and depression, as it forces them to get physical and interact with the world outside. So if you have a friend like this, then Pokemon Go may be the answer. It is standard in America to think of distance in miles, but if you want to hatch an egg in Pokemon Go, then it will say something like 5 kilometers as opposed to the mile equivalent. And this is actually partially designed to help young Americans learn the metric system. 
Ever since its creation, Pokemon has been a largely searched topic, but since the release of Pokemon Go, the series has reached a new peak in popularity, getting over 5 times as many searches now than it was 12 years ago. This means that right now Pokemon is actually more popular than any other video game franchise in the world. Even Mario himself doesn't even hold a candle to Pokemon right now. Pokestops and gyms are located all over the globe, some in places that make sense, and some a bit out of the way. Then there are the ones that are in the strangest of places. An example of this would be when a player tweeted that they actually had to go to a graveyard just to get a Pokestop. And there have been many other reports of strange locations such as police stations, strip clubs, security agency headquarters, toilets, and places of worship. But one of the weirdest cases would have to be when a player noticed that his own home was the location of a Pokemon gym, and that people were actually parking outside his gate just to get the gym. At least this guy won't be lonely anytime soon. That's it for this list guys, if you have any recommendations for a future video, then let me hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.